Hello there. Did you get the totally cool Quest 2 from Oculus? Do you know how to make games? Would you like to? Well, have I got the deal for you. For just one easy payment of like and subscribe, you too can be an elite games maker just like me. And enough of that. Welcome to Shark Jets. I'm Skidvis. Uh, if you're like me, you just got a Quest 2 and you're really excited to start making stuff for it, but you don't know how to make stuff for it. So in the next few episodes, I plan to do a deep dive into Quest development or Oculus development or VR development, however you want to look at it, but I'll be focusing on Oculus products. Um, so if you're interested in that kind of stuff, please make sure to like and subscribe. And without any further ado, let's get to it. Okay, here we are in Unity, um, about to start it up. A couple of things we need to make sure we have. We need to have uh, the Oculus software installed on your computer if you don't already have that. Um, you should have a version of Unity. I'm running 2019.4 LTS. Um, and you wanna make sure that when you install it, you add Android build support. Um, and the way you do that is when you're installing it. Um, they don't have, yep. Uh, this section here says Android build support. Make sure that's checked and you will get that installed for you. So we're going to go ahead and just create a new project here. Uh, I'm just going to call it Look at Me. And I'll go ahead and create that. And here we are, an empty project um, in Unity. So one of the first things you want to do is make sure you're set up from the beginning to build for Android. So uh, you go into File, Build Settings, and just click Android here. And we'll leave everything as it is for now. We'll just hit Switch Platform. Okay, and then you might get an error about not having the ADB server. We're not going to worry about that for now. There's another way to do uh, file transfers between the Quest and Unity, but we're going to skip that for now just to avoid any complexity. So we'll close this, and then we're just going to come over here to the hierarchy and drop in a 3D plane. There's that. Um, and then we want to turn on... Um, the XR implementation from Unity. So we'll go into Edit, Project Settings, and right down here in the bottom you see XR Plugin Management. Click that and you'll see here Install XR Plugin Management. And so we'll do that. And then you will have uh, three tabs here to determine which platforms you want to use on which operating systems. So. Uh, this first one here basically says for every operating system, just pick a default. But you can say for Windows, we just want to use Windows Mixed Reality. For Android, we just want to use Oculus. So we'll go to the first one and just hit Oculus there. And just to verify, we'll go to the Android one. Oh, that's not checked, so we'll just check that also. All right, so the first one and Android are both Oculus. We are good to go. So if we go into the Oculus tab, you'll see the different settings that you can have for it. Um, and some of these do need to be changed. Um, there are some optimizations that you can do for, or that you need to do actually for running um, games in the Quest. And I've covered that in another video, but it's a little outdated. Uh, most of the stuff in there still works but uh, I'll be making an update to that one so that we can uh, get up to date with that as well. So we'll close this and we are good to go there. Um, and then the next thing we need to do is add in a package. So we'll go to Windows or Window Package Manager. And uh, this is where we install all the packages that we're gonna need. Uh, we wanna make sure to use the previews or to see all the preview packages. So we'll click on this advanced section up here and click on show preview packages. The uh, interactables package is still in beta, so um, it will only show up if you have preview selected. So if you scroll down to the bottom, you'll see it there. It's XR interaction preview. This version is 0.94, um, who knows what you got, 
but uh, this will be ready to go soon. So we'll go ahead and install that. Okay, so that's good to go. And then we will, what that gives us is the ability to pre-set up all of our XR um, room scale and stationary setups. So basically dealing with how you set up the camera. So now you come back into the hierarchy here and right click and you'll see a new section there called XR. And there's a bunch of stuff in there, but we're interested right now in this room scale XR rig. So we'll go ahead and select that. And you'll see immediately here, there's this box, that's your room scale. Um, and if you see in the hierarchy there, you'll see XR rig. And if you open that up, you'll see a camera offset. And then you open that up, you'll see your main camera, your left hand and your right hand. So, um, and other things like if you use the uh, Oculus integration package, it'll have the hands built in. Um, but in this version, we do not have hands. We uh, are going to have to pretend to have hands um, and adding hands and animations is a little more complex. So we're not gonna cover that in this video. We're just gonna get you up and running as quick as possible. So what I'm gonna do is right click here in the left hand and I'm going to create an, a cube. And then I'm gonna resize that cube to something tiny like 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1. I messed up there. 0.1. Okay, so now we have a really small cube for the hand and then I'm gonna hit Control D and that's going to create a copy of this. I should select it first, Control D. And that's gonna create a copy of that and I'm gonna drag that into the right hand. Um, and so if we zoom in, you'll see this just a little tiny cube so not a big deal, nothing fancy. So now uh, I'm going to go ahead and just go ahead and run this. So let's go ahead and put on our headsets real quick and see what happens. Okay, so as you can see, here's my hand um, and there's the other one. I'm only wearing one of the controllers. So the other one's just kind of floating on my desk. Uh, but here's something that you're going to notice is if you take this cube and you bring it just close enough You'll see how it starts to get clipped by the camera And so that's the next thing we're going to address as you can see we've got this little red line. It's the uh, interactable uh, uh, Line that lets us see what we can grab and stuff like that It's already built into this XR rig. We can turn that off if we want in the settings, but uh, It's good to have for for experimentation but let's go ahead and fix this clipping. It's really easy to do. So I'll go ahead and exit this again. Okay, so then we wanna to go to the main camera here inside the XR rig. And the issue is right here, this clipping plane is set to 0.3, which is kind of far away from our face. So we'll set this to 0.01. I always do this, hit enter. Now we're good to go there. So we don't need to worry about that. Uh, the next thing I wanna do is add a item that you can pick up. So I'm gonna create a sphere this time. And I'm going to make it twice as big as my hand. So 0 0.2, 0 0.2, 0 0.2, I did it again, 0.2, great. So now we've got a sphere here. All right, let's go ahead and just move this uh, out of the way so that we can, uh, we can see it. So I'll just put that there for now. And basically this sphere has uh, gravity already and uh, it should be, should be good to go, maybe not. Anyways, we'll move on. Um, the sphere doesn't matter right now. What matters is something we gotta put onto it. So we've got this thing, part of the XR framework and it's called an XR Grab Interactable. So we'll drop that onto the sphere and now we've got the gravity because it adds the rigid body for us. Um, and then we wanna go ahead and in the rigid body, we wanna change the collision detection from discrete to continuous. And what that's gonna do is, uh, the way it works is uh, collision detection happens at certain intervals. So if something is moving too fast, it might miss a collision. So by setting it to continuous, you'll make sure that if you throw something, it doesn't like go through the wall, um, that kind of stuff. So we don't need to change anything here. Everything else is good to go. So now if I go ahead and run this again. All right, so now if I run this again, you can see now I can bring this cube right up to my face without any clipping. 
And there's that ball, and when we hover over the ball, you see how the interactor uh, changes colors so that it lets us know that we can grab that. And if we squeeze the middle finger trigger, it will bring that ball over here. And if I grab my other controller, it should do the same thing. Oops, I took it away from myself. And there it goes. All right, so we don't have locomotion set up yet, and uh, that's something for another video. But this is it, real quick and easy. We've got the ability to pick something up and throw it, and we are good there. That took absolutely no coding whatsoever. So now we'll cover uh, how to push this little application onto your Quest device. Okay, so we're gonna want to make sure that our uh, Quest is set up for a developer account, and that's something you have to do on your mobile phone's app. In the settings for the uh, Quest, there's a section that lets you pick developer on or off, and if you turn that on, you'll be good to go. Um, another thing you want to go ahead and install is the Oculus Developer Hub, which is a cool little application made by uh, Oculus, which lets us control our devices and upload apps and see what our battery level is and record video, take screenshots, that, that kind of stuff. Um, it's a really cool, ha handy little app, and we're going to use that to push our APK. So make sure to get that. The link will be in the descriptions for that. Um, and then, um, so now that we've got all this set up, we want to go ahead and change something in project settings here. Um, under player, we want to make sure that the version of Android that we are supporting is uh, high enough. So that would be here. Um, under the player setting and project settings, uh, there's a section here called minimum API level. Um, you want to set this to Android 6 at a minimum 23. So otherwise it won't run on your device. And now that we're done with that, we can go ahead and actually do a build. So we'll go file, build and run. It's going to ask us for a name for the project. I'm just going to put it on my desktop real quick and call it test me. And hit save. What did I click? Uh, okay, so I think I hit build and run. I meant to just hit build settings. Um, so it, we're getting the APK error, error all the time, or uh, ADB error. Um, so let's not worry about that. Let's uh, continue with this. We will, uh, instead of hitting build and run, if you hit build and run, it's gonna try to deploy it to your device. And if you don't have the ADB server set up, it's gonna have issues. So. Um, the easiest way to do it for now is uh, to just hit build and wait for that to complete. Again, it's gonna ask us for the name, so I'll just keep that on my desktop and just wait for it to build. Okay, so the last step here is to open up the Oculus Developer Hub. And if you go into the My Device section here, it shows you your device and all the different things you can do. But the main thing is this Unknown Sources section here. If you take that APK we just built and drag and drop it right over here, you'll see it changes the cursor to say Link. And if you drop that there, it comes over here and says Installing APKs. And the APK is now installed. And so now we have to go into our device to finish the rest of this. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, so here we are in the Oculus um, home screen here. Um, if we go into our apps, um, you'll see this little section up here that says all and it shows you all the games and stuff that you have installed. If you uh, open this up and scroll all the way down, you'll see this unknown sources. And if you don't see this, then you probably don't have developer set up in the app. Um, so if you click on that, 
you'll see anything that's installed that's side loaded basically. Um, and there is the Look at Me app that we just created. So I'll go ahead and click that. And there we see the Made with Unity screen. And there's the ball, there's the hands, and you see how it changes colors when it hovers over the ball. And squeezing the trigger, the middle finger trigger, allows you to grab the object. So that's it, that's all there is to it. And there you have it, quick and easy-ish. Anyways, uh, I hope you found this helpful and educational. And if you wanna see more of these, please make sure to like, subscribe, leave a comment, join my Discord, become a Patreon, call my mom, whatever it is. Um, do what you gotta do to let me know that you want more of this. And I will see you guys in the next episode. I'm still Skidvis. I almost forgot who I am. I'm still Skidvis. Peace out.